Greetings fellow SIGGraphers, this is Khan from Emedia Research. Next week, 12th of August 2018, it will be again that time of the year where latest advancements in graphics research will be presented at SIGGRAPH. Both me and my collaborators from University of North Carolina Chapel Hill and Emedia Research will be there. We will continue with our tradition. We will show our latest prototypes at Emerging Technologies show floor. This year, we will be at booth number 196, where we will show a novel design and manufacturing pipeline for augmented reality near eye displays, exploiting 3D printing, ray tracing, and machine learning. We hope to see you there. We hope to meet with you. If you would like to learn more about our demos, please continue on watching this video. Thank you for watching. Here you see a 3D printed glossy looking cube and a 3D printed optically clear cube. This is manufactured using our in-house technique. This kind of novel manufacturing technique led to development of binocular head mounted display prototypes this is the latest binocular prototype that we built. It contains two projectors, two freeform surfaces, two beam splitters, two concave beam combiners, and two compute modules. It's self-sustained, meaning that it's untethered completely. And when you visit our booth, we'll be able to show you this particular binocular prototype. So what you're seeing right now is a free-form diffuser manufactured in-house. The surface we are looking at is an optically clear surface. Uh, and the surface now we are looking at is a diffusive surface. It's all printed in-house, manufactured in-house. And we will be using such diffusers for our static prototypes and binocular prototypes as well. Uh, they will basically be used as a projection screen a curved projection screen for such devices and you can see that our design is plug and play we can replace this diffuser with some other diffuser at any time we like uh, it's it's straightforward very simple and this static prototype you see is uh, is just showing a pre-coded uh, content and i'd like to show you some of that you see a man holding a glass of wine in his hand as I move inside the eye box, you can see that the occlusion pattern of the scene is slightly changing as well. So this kind of diffusers are showing that the extreme scenarios such as this one can be maintained in our optical manufacturing pipeline. We can, we can build surfaces with sophisticated freeform shapes. Allow me to show you a little bit more sophisticated freeform surface design with our augmented reality near eye display prototype. You see that there are two visual targets at different depth ranges. So at the moment my camera is focused at the dinosaur. Please pay attention to the top portion of the USAF chart. Bottom portion is slightly blurry with respect to the top portion. If you read the number 1951, you'll see that. As I change my camera's focus to the puppet and take this demonstrator close to my camera again, the bottom portion is now sharp and the top portion is a little bit blurry. Next thing I want to show you guys is the steerable characteristics of our near eye displays. This is useful for a future foveated near eye display. Uh, so this is a dummy demonstrator using a manual actuator. In this case, we have a much more sophisticated version of that in our boot. When you visit us you'll be able to see it here you see me moving the lens in front of the projector back and forth to steer the projection so as i thought this is very useful for a foveated near eye display prototype i wanted to give you guys a quick summary of what you're going to experience when you visit our booth at secret 2018 emerging technologies show floor note that there are more demos that we will be bringing together with us, such as foveated lenses and more complex optical components manufactured using our 
manufacturing pipeline. We'll be more than happy to see you at SIGRA 2018. Thank you for watching.